Legend of Dragoon. Welcome back Friendly Ghost and welcome back to the core combat tutorial. This marks a section I would say is not essential to learn as it is more obscure and advanced in terms of character customization and tactics. And I use advanced in the same way that I would use unnecessary. Today's topic is the special Dragoon Magic Build. Now to level up your Dragoon, you need to gain SP, which I'll go over in later installations. The most common approach and the thing to do is to level up all of your character's D levels to the maximum 5 bars. However, there are benefits to not taking the common approach. You can utilize your Dragoons to boost your caster's magic power if you play your cards correctly. I'd say this tutorial is mostly catered towards Shana and Miru. Now, using the special increases all elements of the special activated type and decreases all damage and defenses of the opposing type. However, not directly. Let's use Miru for instance. If you special with Dart, then Miru's Water Dragoon magic suffers. But it does not affect Miru directly, only the water element. If you strategically keep Miru at a low level Dragoon and do a level 5 special with Dart, you can exit Dragoon early with Miru and receive the fire boost to Miru by using fire based attack items. This works with any party member that you have. So in the special Dragoon build, an approach would be to reduce your special D active members speed and focus speed and magic towards your level 1 Miru and Shana. Now you have your highest casters exiting Dragoon early and dealing bonus item magic for several turns if stocked with the appropriate and proper elements. The key to this is to slow your special users. Note, it's difficult to max Miru's additions for this build, but it's not impossible. Now for this Dragoon build to work, you realize that there are approximately about 1000 points of SP before you level 2. Now what this means is that one Dragoon, you have to gain 100 SP. 10 Dragoons that you can build up to before you reach level 2. So if you want this build to work, you have to keep that in mind. 10 attempts at it. It's a limited strat. You can go into level 2 with a fast character. You can still get your money for your buck. But generally, level 1 is usually where you want to be because that's where you get the most of the honey for this strat and getting straight to your damage. For this strat to work, you don't want to gain SP. You only want to gain SP when you feel like it's necessary. You want to keep your build in check. What makes this cool is that you're actively training your characters. People say there's not much ways to customize to their credit. They are right in their own ways, but there's also they're wrong in the ways that they don't realize how much you can customize. And that is it's not just a flip of a switch. You have to train for it. And you have to have an active plan and a sight to the end of the tunnel very early on to actually get the results of what you want. So. You know, it's there, which is what the thesis of this game is all about. You have to train for everything. I'll cover more on this in the future, but till then, here's another oddity. Now, I always try to find the most abnormal route or usages for something seemingly useless, and with that comes the War God's Calling, the auto additions for half points and no credit. A lot of people think that this item is, or this accessory is useless, and it's only useful for people who can't do additions, really. But even then, it's not useful for that. After a bit of labbing, I found that they do have two small ultra specific usages other than being crappy autos. With powerful additions that reward low SP gain, usually around 20, you can get more damage for your buck for the least SP gain possible in the game. This only matters if you're going for a specific Dragoon build and want to deal throwaway physical damage, and even then, there are better alternatives. There's about 1000 points till you reach level 2 of your D, assuming you never gained SP till unlocking this combination, it takes 100 turns of additions before you reach your next level. Then the key here is to slow down your SP progress as much as possible. The second usage of the ultimate war god is for SP gain, and for Miru very specifically, with her bonus SP hammer plus the war god plus Cool Boogie, I believe it's their highest edition for SP, you'll gain more overall SP per battle with enough turns since her damage will be halved. But by this point in the game, you can also have the SP 50% boost of an accessory from Martel, which increases your SP gain at about the same clip, just faster. 
Now I'm not saying that this item is useful, I'm merely stating that it does have a use for somebody really who has the patience to try it out. Now let's say that you have Miru going with this setup and what I see you could gain more SP per encounter. Let's say you have Miru going with this setup but instead of having your other characters going on the offense you have her being the sole offender <laughs> because it takes her so many more turns to take out each enemy you have her getting an excess amount of SP and you said you have your other party members with restoration items or SP with generating items and so as an entire whole you are gaining a network of more SP per encounter well, that takes a lot of more patience because it takes maybe like maybe 18 turns sometimes maybe 9 turns and per, per enemy even at times basically what this entire series is about is just bringing more awareness to the creativity that can be possible and can be had and just experimenting with everything so that maybe somebody else out there will see it and take it further find something and make something very useful out of it and if I can set some daylight or maybe make some creative juices flow or you know, anything of that sort to get you excited to play or just uh, help you in general and I would like to thank all of you for supporting and sharing some love and just showing my gratitude you guys are all right. Anyways, let's bring it all the way back around and bring it to some closure. Now this concludes today's tip session. Variety is the spice of life. And when it comes to more severe customization in Legend of Dragoon, you gotta start training for it and training for it early because it's not a flip of a switch. And if you want more customizations and choices in battle, you have to be very strategic in planning out your route early on for your characters and who knows maybe the build you train will have you coming back and that's right and with that i bid you all further ado thank you for tuning in may peace be with always keep your heads up deuces those both side of your stay cool and if you like this content be sure to show some love but always be sure to show some love to the people that matter to you and this is it al stay cool stay blessed and be cool peace <laughs>